encouraging us to open our hearts to four windows to experience this. Uh, the first come, uh, encounter with Jesus, second, testimony of mission, third, missionary formation, fourth, missionary encounter with Jesus each time in this year at your Eucharistic celebrations, at your quiet time, your prayer time, your holy hour, your reading of the Bible, your reading of the daily reading, it becomes an encounter with Jesus, yeah, an opportunity. A testimony of mission, you think about the many people who have in their own way uh, lived out the gospel command, love God, love neighbor, love yourself and love one another. Wheels ministry, senior citizens, yeah. Uh, your own parish priest, in the past, we think about Father Ponodore, the OMI priest, what's his name? Huh? I forgot, huh? my younger days, from Fatima, Father James, uh, the one who, Father Kochiron, Father John was there, then there was one who, from Sri Lanka, what's his name? Emilia. Ponaya. Father Emil and Father Ponaya. Yeah, you have seen and heard about their stories and how they have lived out their mission. That's the priest and the religious, but also among you, among yourselves in your BC, your parish, you look to each other and say, oh, I'm inspired by what so-and-so is, is doing. I'm inspired by what so-and-so's parents have done in the past in this parish. That's a, a testimony of a mission, missionary testimony. Missionary charity. Uh, this morning when you came, you brought so much of stuff uh, for the Orang Asli's. Uh, it's all been stored just by the staircase there, and it's about probably three quarters of a van full. So sometime midweek, they will come from the parish of uh, St. Thomas Kuantan, the Orang Asli Ministry, and they will collect this and send it out in distribution. A small act of charity on your part, yeah? uh, the rice bags, the sugar, the uh, coffee, the biscuits, and so on, as a way of saying, we want to uh, make a sacrifice of the, little, of the many blessings God has given us. You know, you have, we have come on this pilgrimage because we chose to. Someone inspired us, someone invited us. We saw this in the bulletin. Yeah. But deep down, we have gone also on pilgrimages to Rome, to Fatima, to Lut. Yeah, you've gone to St. Anne's, to Thailand, to Johor, to Malacca, and so on. But deep down, we realize we make this mission because the Spirit of God inspires us. Yes, it is by a, a human effort, but behind this human effort, is the Spirit of God. And so it's only proper that we open our hearts to what Jesus has uh, said to us of all. I leave you the Holy Spirit and He will make known and lead and guide you to the end of time. So come. Come Holy Spirit, we need you. Come Spirit, Spirit, we pray. Come Thank you. 